anything on this planet is designed for its specific purpose. Wherever you go, some things are getting underrated yet plays essential role to industries, generally to the world. Hi, I'm welcoming you all to this new discussion, how do solid and stranded wires differ from each other? Now let's learn the basics of wires. For solid wires, these type of cables are made with a solid single strand conductor wire with PVC insulation. And for stranded wires, these another type of wires are the ones comprised with multiple thin strands of conductor wire also with PVC insulation. But how do they actually differ? Now, let us describe them both. Solid wires are not that flexible. These are just easy to manufacture and that is why they are pretty cheap, suitable for long-run home distances and are heavily durable. And they could carry more current, more powerful for signal distribution, but are not good for any moving systems. While stranded wires are greatly flexible and could withstand movements, they're just pretty complicated to manufacture, that is why they are expensive. Suitable for short-run home distances, but are not so durable, and could just carry less amount of current and has poor signal capacity. Now, if possible, notice something on the insulation of wires around you. As you now check everything that's on a wire's physical characteristic, you could actually notice that AWG label after a number on its insulation. AWG means the short for American Wire Gauge. It is commonly the standard wire system used, especially in America, for electrical conductor's diameter. An AWG metric conversion chart is being used to identify its category. And there are basically 40 gauge sizes and has a gap of multiplied by 1.12293. Now, for the final breakdown. With all the comparisons presented, we could finally ask which is best, solid or stranded wires? To start with, actually, the choice whether between solids or stranded depends on how we are going to use them. For AWG number, cross-section area of a stranded is pretty equivalent to solids, means when looking at a number 10 stranded wire, it may look bigger, however, it is just actually the same with the solid wire. Non-metallic cables are the best to use in our homes, because it consists of two or more individual wires wrapped inside a protective plastic, which means it's a lot more safer. And lastly, speaking about wire sizes, the most commonly used wire sizes at home are the 14, 12, 10, 8, and the 6 gauge sizes. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned from it. This is Kevin. See you next time.